Here we go again. First, it was Bill Clinton and his alleged son that actually looks like Bill Clinton. And now we're dealing with Jay-Z and this dude that's claiming to be Jay-Z's son. Now, there's a lot of messed up holes in this story. They got a, they, I think they're doing too much. This is, a, is an extremely long article. I'm just going to touch different points and then I'll post the article on the bottom and you guys can go read it for yourself if you have not heard about this. Uh, and don't forget to click donate here and support the page or support my YouTube channel. There's also a link in the description box. Jay-Z's alleged secret son, Ramir Satherwaite, accuses rapper of abusing legal system for eight years to avoid paternity tests and says he won't stop fighting for justice. Now, this is the dude and Jay-Z. Of course, he took a picture posing like Jay-Z. That don't mean nothing. In this photo, he looks nothing like Jay-Z, right? Then it says the man who claims to be the secret son of Jay-Z has accused the rapper of using his fame and wealth to avoid taking a paternity test for more than eight years. Ramirez Satherwaite's guardian has even launched a legal battle against their own lawyers, accusing them of colliding with the rapper, with the rapper's legal team to help him to get out of taking the test. Now, if it was me, I wouldn't take the test. I wouldn't, okay? Because I'm sure that if Jay-Z was not who he is today, they would not look for him. You don't find too many baby mamas that's going to track down their child's father. You know, they're not going to do that, you know, unless there's something in it for them. If they think they can get some money out of it, then they're going to run you down. They're going to take it to court, and more than likely, it's going to be child support. All right? And But the thing is, the story got holes in it because, see, this is the the image of, of this boy when he was little. Now, in this photo, he does look like Jay-Z, okay? Uh, we've seen on shows like the Mari where the kid looks like the dude and then it turn, come to find out it's not his son, right? Ramirez, age seven, and Wright, his alleged dad, Jay-Z, as a 12-year-old schoolboy, right? It says, in an exclusive interview, with son online, Ramir, an aspiring musician. Now, see, he's using this opportunity to promote himself. All right. And he's going to mention it again uh, later on in this article. Uh, an aspiring musician claims he has been denied the right to have a fear hearing in court because of legal mistakes and malpractice and now wants justice. He said, I don't want money or anything like that from Jay-Z. Yes, you do. Stop lying. Because if Jay-Z was not Jay-Z, then you would not be trying to track him down. You would not be going through this extreme just to be able to say that Jay-Z is my dad. He said, I just want him to finally tell the truth to the world. Now, Later on, you're going to find out something a little different here because you know, it sounded like Jay-Z just got this chick pregnant and ran off, right? He's supposed to be a positive role model for our community. He stands there screaming, Black Lives Matter. Well, tell the truth and take responsibility. Now, he sounds like a woman. So, uh, well, he was raised by his mom and his stepdad, which we're going to find out later on, was her living boyfriend, Okay. And it says, and if you say I'm not your son and nothing ever happened with with my mom, okay, now usually they use the term mom uh, in the uh, UK. You know, so this this kind of sounds a little bit strange, you know. Dudes usually in the, usually say mother or my mom's, you know, but mom, you know, and I don't know. That's how it's written, mom. We just don't say mom. I heard mom in the UK. I've never heard it really in the United States unless, of course, they're from the UK, right? Then just take the test. 
You hear? He got another picture of him taking a picture, uh, trying to be like Jay Z. They look nothing alike. He's just taking a picture, trying to look like Jay Z, right? Uh, if you are telling the truth, then why is your first answer whenever you're asked to take the paternity test no? I would say no too. Yeah, you know I mean, because any chick can come along and say you my baby daddy. Also, I want a fair due process in court, regardless of who my father is and how rich he is. See, he brought up that rich again. Yeah, so stop lying, dude. You 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 looking for a come up. Ramirez was first told by mum, Wanda. Now, is mum her name or, or is they just saying mum for mom? You know, so I don't know. But anyway, mum, Wanda that she believed Jay-Z was his father. She believed Jay-Z was his father when he was around eight. So she believed he was Jay-Z's son when he was around eight. But he didn't look like Jay-Z. He looked like Jay-Z in that picture, but she just didn't realize or think that that was Jay-Z's son until he was around eight. Wanda 43 has claimed that she hooked up with the rapper, then known as Rock, in 1992 at his aunt's apartment in the projects of Brooklyn, New York. After he first picked her up from Philadelphia. That's another picture he took. He taking all these pictures, man, trying to look like Jay-Z, trying to wear what Jay-Z's wearing. They don't look alike. They don't look alike. So stop it, man. Stop it. You don't look like Jay-Z. Right. Uh, the pair allegedly used protection, but it failed. And aside from a visit from him two weeks later, the pair never saw each other again. And Wanda had no idea how to contact him. Although Wanda's live in boyfriend, check this out. Although Wanda's live in boyfriend, Robert Graves was originally listed on the birth certificate. He was legally removed in 2011 after a DNA test proved that he was not the father. See, so at first she thought somebody else was the dad, right? Until he took a paternity test. See, so Wanda's godmother, Lily, who was given custody to Ramirez in 2010 when Wanda became too sick to look after him, says she believes Jay-Z is the father and is determined to fight until the family get treated fairly in court. In other words, they want some money. She said Wanda was only 16 when she, was, when she allegedly met Sean, but she may have told him she was older. In other words, she lied. She fell pregnant, just don't fall pregnant, but she fell pregnant but had no idea how to contact him. Now, this is the birth the birth certificate, right? And it has right there, father's name, information not recorded, right? Because that other dude had his name taken off after the parent test. Now, I wonder if he got his money back because he supported this kid, man, up until a certain point. And then it's like, you know, he had a paternity test, and I thought that he's still responsible for this child because that's the only dad this boy knows, right? So she should be going after this dude for child support because that's the only dad this boy knows. Because this dude, his name was on the birth certificate. She said that he was the dad and he signed the birth certificate. So if he was trying to be nice and just happened to sign it anyway, then why did he come back later on and say, I don't want to be the dad no more. Let's take paternity tests. So there's, there's a lot of lies going on here, right? And this is somebody that's trying to get a come up, right? And I don't blame Jay-Z. I wouldn't respond either, okay? Because she's trying to get a get a, get a a come up. And this dude's got her, her mom's last name. Dude don't have the dude's name that was on the birth certificate originally. Why is that, right? So on her boyfriends at the time, Robert knew the baby wasn't his but put his name on the birth certificate while Wanda was unconscious recovering from the birth. Now, see, that don't make sense because if he put his name on there, 
when she was unconscious, recovering from birth, why did he have a paternity test done? And why later on, if he knew it wasn't his, why did he have his name removed? But see, he's still legally responsible for this child because that's the only father that this dude knows. Initially, he felt sorry for Wanda, but later he used it so he could collect extra food stamps and benefits. Both were minors at the time, so he shouldn't have signed anything. Over the years, she tried to get in touch with Sean, but Robert always stopped her. In 2009, she came to me and asked me to help get in touch with Sean and sort the situation out. I'm going to stop reading there, but this is a whole bunch of, you know, oh, look at all that stuff. This is somebody who's trying to get, you know, a come up right here, you know. So, oh, wait, 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 wait. I just saw something. I just saw something. Wait a minute. What did I just see? Here we go. He hopes to concentrate on his music career and is hoping to even tour the UK in the future. Hmm, why the UK? Mom, UK, mom? Interesting. Uh, ultimately, Ramirez says he holds no grudge against Jay-Z and, and still holds out hope that they might one day meet and resolve the situation amicably, tongue-tied. But anyway, this is, this is, this is, even if, even if, even if they had a blood test and it was Jay-Z's son, I, I, I wouldn't even submit myself to that because my question is, like I said, you got all, you got these dudes now that's coming out of the past, like all of these chicks are and saying he my daddy. Now, if Jay-Z was not as wealthy as he is. Would this dude be going through that much trouble trying to find his father? Because there's a lot of there's a lot of dudes out there that don't know their father. They don't know their dad, or they know who their father is, and they're not trying to contact the dude. They're not trying to get to know their dad. Because they may hold on to some nonsense the mom said to them, right? Or whatever reason. But they ain't trying to go out of their way to find out who their father is. I guarantee you, if I was if I was famous one day, and I became um, if I became wealthy like Jay Z, I'm sure that somebody would come back from like 1980 something, you know, and say, "Oh, when you was in the military, you slept with me, so this is your son or this is your daughter, and we've been trying to find you." And I'm all over the internet now, right? But they've been trying to find me, right? So. I, I think this is a fluke. I think that, you know, these dudes that's that's coming out of the past, like this dude that claimed to be Bill Clinton's son, and now you got this dude talking about he's Jay-Z's son. At one time, there was another uh, celebrity that had somebody say that he was the son. You know, it's a come up because if these dudes were not wealthy, nobody would look for them. Nobody would even think about saying, I'm looking for Sean because he's my dad. I want to get to know my dad, you know. And so there's like no proof that Jay-Z is the son. So why is this dude even coming at Jay-Z like that? You know, saying it, calling him a deadbeat. You know, that's like defamation of character. You don't know if this is your dad or not. And you got these pictures, man. He posted all of these pictures. I didn't even put all the pictures on the site because it was just so many of them. He did, they just doing too much. But he just and then plus if he's got some some kind of so-called uh career where he made some music he's trying to promote himself and he's trying to use this as a vehicle to do it but like i said i guarantee you that if jay-z was not famous if bill clinton was not famous these dudes wouldn't be trying to find him and talk about take a paternity test they wouldn't do it because like i said there's a lot of dudes out here that don't know their dad. There's a lot of dudes out there that have children that want nothing to do with them and that is not going out of the way to try to find their father or try to get to know their dad, right? Until they become famous. 
and they think it's something in it for them, right? So I will put the article on the bottom. You guys, you know, check it out, feedback, and tell me what you think. But I'm just telling you, man, this this is a bunch of mess, man. We're living in times, man, where dudes got to really, really, really be careful, man, who they lay down with, man. Because you got a lot of scamming females and now a lot of scamming dudes out there. You got dudes out there that's worse than women. You know, they worse than women. They, I, I guarantee you, like I said, I guarantee you, if Jay-Z was not as wealthy as he is, these they wouldn't be trying to find him. They wouldn't care nothing about knowing him, you know? So, feedback, tell me what you think. Subscribe. I'm going to put this article on the bottom. You guys can check it out for yourself. Feedback, tell me what you think. Until next time, I'm fearless.